Hi flowers and welcome to another Astro Renaissance video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the new The Hunts Between Realities quest in Astro Renaissance. The quest is not that hard and as long as the Celestia and Nate quest. It's a pretty doable and easy quest, but still I'm going to give you a guide to show you where you can find all the things that you need to find for this quest. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Okay, so the way that you can actually go to the hunt event is when you join Astro, you get this on your screen and it actually says here the hunt restore the reality and save the galaxy and you just press go. Now, as you're here, you're obviously going to walk forward and talk to Moonlight. So from here, we're going to have to find 12 shards and these can be found in these rifts that you see over here. So each rift contains three shards. So let's go to the third, first one right here and just basically jump on to the box and enter. Now then you'll be teleported here and from here you're going to go to the first door on the left, press enter. Then you'll be teleported to this area over here and from here you're gonna go to the right and enter this vent. So now that you've entered this vent you're going to make a left in the first turn. Then turn right right here. Then here we're going to turn left and then here we're going to turn right and then the first one will be right here. Okay, so from here we're going to go back and turn left right here and then we're going to walk all the way to the end of this hallway and then turn left right here Go left right here and then go left into the second pathway. So not this one, the second one right here. And then the second rift or the second shard, I should say, is here. Okay, so from here we're going to go back. And then go towards the purple fence right here. And then turn right in the first one and there you will find the last shard of this rift. So now you will be automatically teleported back and now you have completed this rift. Okay, so now let's move over to the next one which is right here. We're basically just doing this in a counterclockwise motion. And here we have to complete the obby to find the tree tree three shards so luckily we have this space jump that makes it a lot easier so we're first going to get the shard up there so just follow what I am doing and from here you can actually jump on one of these right here if you're too scared to do that, you can just come around and basically got on it, get on it this way. But I'm just, you know, adventurous. <laughs> so you're going to jump all the way to the top and then the first shard will be here. So the next two shards will be on this island and this island. So I'm first going to jump over to that island right here. And then it will be behind this little house. So now let's move over to the last island and space jump on over there. And 
and you can already see it it will be right here so now you will be automatically teleported back again and that is the second rift all complete so now let's move over to this rift right here So this is basically complete another obby to find the three shards. And watch out for these lasers, you do have to jump over them. And then jump on these flying, I don't know what these are, <laughs> invisible rocks. And we're gonna go to the first island right here, where the first shard will be. So you basically just jump on over. And then, as you see, it's right here next to the Sword of Excalibur. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to move over to this island right here. And then it will be right here in the middle of the island. Now, the last one is obviously going to be on that island right there. So we're just going to do the obby. And then collect the last one right here. Okay, so now that is that rift all complete as well. Now let's move over to the last rift right there to collect the last three shards. So right here it says five, find all five green buttons. So the first button is right here behind this box and you activate it by clicking it. The second one is behind these potions right here. The third one is under this couch. As you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. The fourth one is right here next to these potions and the fifth one is behind this box right here. And that will open this door and you're just going to walk down this hallway. And then as you can see, a shard will be right there. So you're just going to walk over there and collect it and then walk back walk past the door that we just came from and another one will be right here okay so i missed one of the shards when we walked down the hallway so if you just collected these two and you're now right here let's go back real quick because one of the shards is kind of hidden right here. As you can see, it's very easy to walk past and it's behind the first, what do you call these? First walls on the side. So now we have collected all of the shards and completed all of the rifts. And now you're going to jump towards the middle and then restore the reality core. So this door will now turn blue and that means that you can now enter this door. So let's go on over there and enter the door. So right here, you're going to have to do a boss fight. You'll be given a laser gun as the boss appears. See right here. And you're basically going to, just like all the other quests, click it to kill the boss. I find that this boss has a pretty small hitbox. Okay, so now it's going down here. Make sure that you are standing on one of these cubes because he is going to slime the place. And if you're down there, you're going to die, but don't worry about dying. 
because you'll just respawn, but it does take up some time. So this boss has a pretty small hitbox. I find it the easiest to focus on his blue, I don't know what that is, blue beam right there. You cannot really hit him in the legs because it doesn't count as often, so you kind of have to focus on his torso. Now he's going to do the slime again, so make sure you stand on the cubes. You can also walk over here and you will also not get killed by the slime. And yes, we have beaten the boss! So now you can go ahead and exit through this door. And now you have completed the hunt quest. That is how you do the new Between Realities quest for the hunt event. If this video helps you, then please let me know by leaving a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And also let me know what you guys think of the new spring OC that I'm wearing right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.